the old men were quiet for a short time. Your world? asked one of the men. What do you mean? Your world was the rocks. There's nothing different there. Don't think of the past, said another man. We can teach you everything. One day you'll be as clever as we are. Nunez was very hungry. He asked for some food, and they gave him bread and milk. Then they left him, but he couldn't sleep. Four days came and went. Nunez started to work in the fields with the blind people, but he was from the city. He knew nothing about this work. You don't know much, they told him, but we can teach you. You'll learn many things from us. When I'm king, I'll make changes, Nunez thought. First, I'll change the hours of work. I don't like working at night and sleeping in the day. But the blind people didn't want him to be their king, and he couldn't understand why. He started to learn more about the blind people. They worked hard, but only because they had to have food and clothes. They enjoyed singing and making music. There was love between them, and their children were happy. They could hear very well, better than Nunez. Sometimes he told the people about the beautiful world outside the village. The sky is often very blue. There are flowers of every color, and birds fly high above us. The mountains are wonderful. You can't see the tops of them. But they laughed at him. To them, he was a stupid man with strange ideas. You talk about your home over the mountains. Said one of them, but there's nothing past the rocks. That's the end of the world. Sometimes, a lovely young woman sat with them. She never spoke, but she listened to Nunez. He was happy when she was there. Her name was Medina Sarote. The blind people. Often called Nunez stupid, and one day he was tired of it. It was a work day, but night to Nunez, and he was in the fields. He took his spade in his hands. Suddenly, he felt very angry, and he wanted to hit somebody with it. He stood and held his spade. He looked at the blind people near him. He could easily hit one of them, but something stopped him. The blind people heard. They knew. They all stopped work, and turned to him. Put down that spade, one of them said. You don't understand me, he said. You're blind, and I can see. But he knew now, he couldn't hit a blind man, and he couldn't fight men with very different ideas. Nunez pushed one of the men very hard. The man fell, and Nunez ran past him across the village. He ran through the streets. He looked behind him, and saw the blind men. They're coming after me, he thought. They can't see me, but they know. They know that I'm running. Bogota! They called, 
Bogota, where are you? He held his spade. He heard the words in his head. In the country of the blind, the man with one eye is king. But he couldn't get away from the men. He watched them and waited. They know I'm here, he thought, and they want to catch me. He called to them. You're always telling me that I'm stupid. But you're wrong. I'm an intelligent man. And I want to do different things with my life. The men walked quickly with their arms in front of them. Suddenly, they were all round him. Bogota! Put down that spade, they said again. I'll hit you, he said. Go away, or I'll hurt somebody. Nunez started to run again. He ran past two of the men. He hit one of them on the arm with his spade. The man went down. He ran past them. He ran past a street of houses. He could hear the blind men's feet behind him. He found the bridge, and he ran across it. He went past animals in the fields. He jumped over the village wall and climbed up into the rocks. Then he fell to the ground and started to cry. He stayed outside the village wall for two nights and two days. He could never be king in this place. He understood that now. He could not fight the blind people. He was hungry, thirsty, and cold. Without them, he was dead. On the third day, he went down to the wall and cried for help. Two blind men came to the wall and talked to him. I was stupid, he said. But I'm only a new man from the rocks. I know nothing. Please help me. That's better, they said. And can you see now? No, he said. That was stupid. The word doesn't mean anything. He cried again. Please, give me some food or I'll die. He was ill for some days. But the blind people looked after him. They came and talked to him. They were kind. So Nunez lived in the country of the blind, and he was not unhappy. He worked for Pedro's uncle, Jacob, and Jacob was kind to Nunez. Jacob's daughter was Medina Sarote. She's very beautiful, Nunez thought. He started to work or sit near her as often as possible. One day, they listened to the village music, and he took her hand. The next evening, they ate their dinner at the same table, and Medina Sarote put her hand in his. The day after that, they walked away from the other people. Nunez wanted to speak to her. I love you, he said. I think you love me too. Medina Sarote smiled her lovely smile at him. Yes, Nunez, I think I do. After that, they talked very often. He spoke of the beautiful things in the world outside the valley. It wasn't his world now, but he wanted to tell her. She didn't understand his stories, but she liked to hear them. But 
there was a problem. Her sisters didn't like Nunes, and they told Jacob about him and Medina Sarote. We're in love, said Nunes. We want to marry. Medina Sarote's father and sisters weren't happy about this. Nunes is nice, but stupid, they thought. They didn't want him in their family. Medina Sarote cried when her father told her. She was very sad. But my dear daughter, he's a strange man, different from us. And he has very stupid ideas, said Jacob. I know, she cried, but he's better than he was. And he's strong, dear father, and kind. He loves me, and, father, I love him. Jacob was sorry because his youngest daughter was very unhappy. Also, he liked Nunes in many ways. So he went to the old men of the village. He's better than he was, said Jacob. Perhaps one day he'll be as clever as we are. And I think he's a good man. One of the old men had an idea. I think I understand the problem with Bogota, he said. It's his eyes. They give him stupid ideas. They move all the time, and they stop him thinking. What can we do? asked Jacob. It's easy. We can take out his eyes. And then he'll be all right. Yes, then he'll be one of us. Jacob was very happy. He went quickly to Nunes. There's an answer to your problem, he said. Without your eyes, you can marry Medina Sarote. Nunes wasn't happy with this idea, and he told Medina Sarote. I won't see anything then. Do you want me to lose my sight? I won't see the beautiful flowers or the sky. And I won't see you, my love. Do you really want that? I'd love to hear your pretty talk, but... Nunes knew then. Medina Sarote loved him but she didn't understand. He felt angry, but also sorry for her. He put his arm round her, and they sat for some time. I don't want to lose you, he said. So I'll do this. On the last day, before they took out his eyes, Nunes saw Medina Sarote for a short time. After tomorrow, he said, I shall see nothing. The old men won't hurt you much, she said. You're doing this for me, and I love you for that. They said goodbye. Nunes looked at her lovely face again. He wanted to remember it every day. Then he walked away. He walked past the houses and through the wall round the village. He sat on the rocks and looked back at the valley. Then he looked up at the mountains. They were beautiful. The sky was blue and the snow shone in the sun. Nunes thought of the world behind the mountains, his world. He thought of rivers and the sea. He thought of his family and friends, and he thought of Bogota. Nunes looked again at the village and remembered Medina Sarote. I love her very much, 
he thought. She wants us to marry. But it's very difficult. I don't think I can. I don't want her to be unhappy. But I can't stay there. I can't live without my sight. He looked down at the village, and he felt very sad. The country of the blind will never be my home. Medina Sarote and I will never be happy. I was wrong. Then he turned to the mountains, and he started to climb. When the sun went down, Nunez was a long way from the country of the blind, and very high. He saw a little orange flower on a rock. He looked at it and smiled. Night came. Nunez wanted to sleep, but he couldn't. He looked up at the cold sky, and he smiled. In a strange way, he was happy again.